Welcome family and friends. On behalf of Cole and Misty, I know they're very happy that you could be here with them on this special day. And who presents this woman to this man in marriage? Her mother and I. Excellent, sir. Go ahead and give your daughter a hug and a kiss and shake the groom's hand. Perfect. And this afternoon we're gathered together in sight of God for a very special and joyous occasion. And that is to witness and bless the joining of Cole and Misty in marriage. Marriage is a beautiful relationship between two people. It's a union founded on love. Cole, if I could ask you to take your bride's bouquet and just place it over on the little stand there. And then I'll have the two of you join both of each other's hands facing each other. And I ask you to join hands as a symbol of the union that you're making here today. And I want you to think about the hands that you're holding. Because these are the hands of your very best friend holding your hands on your wedding day. Promising to love you and work with you as you build your future together. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need strength. Tenderness when you need tenderness. And love when you need love. These are the hands that will also hold all of whom you love. And these are the hands that through your lifetime together will wipe tears of sorrow from your eyes, but hopefully many, many more tears of joy. And these are the hands that years from now will still be searching for your hands, still seeking the love, encouragement, and support that each of you will give to one another. All of these things have brought you all the way to Nelson Ghost Town with your family and friends, all ready to say your marriage vows to one another. And it's important to understand that these vows cannot be made lightly. And Cole and Misty, I know the two of you realize this. These vows need to be made with a great deal of consideration and respect. With that thought in mind, Cole, I have a question for you. Do you take Misty to be your wife, to live together in marriage, to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health? And forsaking all others, be faithful only to her as long as you both shall live. Then please repeat after me. I call, take you, Misty, to be my wife. I call, take you, Misty, to be my wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. I promise to be your true and loyal husband. I promise to be your true and loyal husband. And to love and honor you always. And to love and honor you always. I do this because I do this because I love you today. I love you today. I will love you tomorrow. I will love you tomorrow. And I will love you forever. I will love you forever. Misty, are you ready to say your marriage vows? Then I also have a question for you. Do you take Cole to be your husband, to live together in marriage, to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful only to him as long as you both shall live? Then please repeat after me. I, Misty, take you, Cole, to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. I promise to be your true and loyal wife. I promise to be your true and loyal wife. And to love and honor you always. I do this because I love you today. I will love you tomorrow. And I will love you forever. Perfect. And now because today is all about love and the two of you wouldn't be here if it wasn't about love, I have a reading for you from the Corinthians, the chapter of love. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always hopes, always protects, always trusts, and always perseveres. Love never fails, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. Yet these three will remain, hope, faith, and love, and the greatest of these is love. And now, Cole and Misty, if you could each hold one another's wedding ring for a moment. Throughout time, the wedding ring has been a symbol of unending love. Because lifetime, your rings have no beginning and no end. 
They're a circle. They're the emblem of eternity. They're also made of metals that are least likely to tarnish. These things symbolize the pledges that you just finished making to one another. But above all else, your wedding rings will now be an outward and visible sign, signifying to all the uniting of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. Cole, please place Misty's ring on her finger. Hold it there and repeat after me. Misty, I give you this ring. Misty, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And as a reminder. And as a reminder. That I have chosen you. That I have chosen you. To be the one. To be the one. To share my life. To share my life. Go ahead and slide it all the way on. Perfect. Misty, please place Cole's ring on his finger. Hold it there and repeat after me. Cole, I give you this ring. <laughs> As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And as a reminder. And as a reminder. That I have chosen you. That I have chosen you. To be the one. To be the one. To share my life. To share my life. Perfect. Cole, if I can ask you to go ahead and get your bride's bouquet for her. Cole and Misty, in just a moment I'm going to pronounce you husband and wife. Before I do that, I'd like to say a couple of brief things about marriage. They may be brief, but they're good things to keep in mind. Marriage is being loved for the rest of your life. It's love walking hand in hand with your very best friend. It's thinking of new things to do together. It's laughing about the silly things in life with care and tenderness. It's trusting each other even though from time to time the two of you may be very far apart. It's the realization there's no one else in the world you'd rather be with certainly no one else you'd rather be married to. It's growing old together, but most of all, marriage is being loved for the rest of your life. Cole and Misty, you've said your marriage vows to one another, witnessed by God and your family and friends here today. You've sealed those vows with the giving and the receiving of the wedding rings. So now, it's my very great honor to pronounce you husband and wife, and Cole, you may kiss your beautiful bride. <laughs> Big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for Mr. and Mrs. Cole Norby. Congratulations. <laughs>